Hey IICs, congratulations and welcome to the world of beauty. My name is Anthony Cole and I'm with the International Sebastian team. And I'm here to give you a few tips and tricks of the trade to bring with you out on the field. So I'm gonna start with talking about what I do. When I am not in the salon behind the chair, I do a lot of runway work. So I'm gonna give you a few tips on how I get that achieved different looks for the runway as well as how I achieve those same looks in the salon for brides, engagement, whatever it is, parties. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today. So the most important thing for me is the prep of the hair. So on this mannequin, what I did was I used drench shampoo, drench conditioner, which is one of my favorites because it's very hydrating. And then I used the combination of Potion 9 with dark oil. A few pumps in each hand, bring it throughout the whole entire head really, 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 really well. And then I dried that in a little bit and then I used Sebastian Mousse Forte. After I dried the whole thing, I made sure that I was going into the direction of where I wanted my ponytail to be, right? So I came in and I made sure that I blew dry with actually one of my favorite new blue dryers, which is the GHD Helios. And I'm going to be using a really fun tool today to show you how I get texture when I'm doing this ponytail. So this is the GHD crimping iron. And I'm going to give you a really cool trick to use in the salon, whether you want to use it for having voluminous hair, or if you wanted to just use a nice, soft, sleek look, but with a little bit of texture. So how, what I did was, came in, and I weaved as if I was gonna do like a highlight. Come through, come through, like I'm weaving for a thick highlight, right? Take that hair now, and I'm gonna crimp. I'm gonna take my next section, and I'm gonna crimp that. And I'm gonna crimp all the way down as I go, and you'll start to see that crimp as I move down and watch something really super cool. When I do this, I'm going to have parts of the hair that are now crimped and parts that aren't. So you're gonna have straight and then you're gonna have crimped hair. Then I'm gonna do that same thing again. I'm gonna take my next section down and I'm going to come in and I'm going to weave as if I was doing some thick weaved highlight and again, I'm gonna come through with my GHD and I'm going to crimp, crimp, crimp all the way down until I get down to the bottom. Where I go, all the way through So I get there. Now watch, you're going to see again that there's going to be some hair that's crimped and some that isn't going through. Now, before I started, I came in and I already did all the crimping on this hair that started in the back. So let's figure that out, right? I have all this crimped and non-crimped hair all the way through the whole thing, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hair and I'm gonna bring it away. As I move that hair away, get my little clips here, put that through, and I'm going to put that through there onto that side. Okay. Now, I did a traditional fishtail braid on this hair, which also as you can see, has the crimped hair and the straight hair running all through that. You see that? All that crimped hair and straight hair running through it. Now, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna brush that all in, right? And I did like a, a ponytail holder here, but I did my fishtail braid. I want you to pay attention to this part. You see how messy it kind of looks in there? Because I did it upside down. So what I did was instead of bringing the hair over, I brought it under so that this way when I lift, I'm gonna get this really cool braid coming up. 
This is super cool whether you're doing a wedding, you can expand it even more, especially when you're using the crimper, it expands really beautifully. So I'm gonna take my bobby pins and I'm gonna put them right into my ponytail. As I start to move up, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna take my bobby, I'm gonna weave my little bobby inside of there, and I'm gonna bring that up to there, and I'm gonna tuck that little ponytail part in at the bottom, like that, and I'm going to keep placing bobbies as I move up into there. Now, on my sides, as you can see, you can see that little side, but we're not, we're not gonna worry about that yet, just yet, because a bobby pin will take care of that. So here's my bobby there. And I'm gonna come to this side, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this bobby. So now, as you see, you're gonna get this really cool textured ponytail with all these little pieces coming out, which we're gonna really, which I really love, because we'll enhance those pieces as well. And now, I'm gonna take this down here, and I'm gonna move my ponytail here to make sure that it's centered from here. And now, I'm gonna take that last little part there, and I'm gonna put that in with my last bobby right there to hold that in there. Now, you can go either a side part with this if you wanted, right? We can do a really cool side part if we wanted to bring it to the side, right? And as you see, I'm gonna bring this in here and I'm gonna brush, All right? Look at that. As we bring that in there, we're gonna have a really cool texture, you see that? It's some really cool straighter pieces in there. But I'm gonna actually, I'm really a fan of either the middle or going all the way back, especially when I'm doing a really cool sleek ponytail because we always have to wind, no, at the very end, you wanna make sure that what you want them to see is the emphasis of what you want. So the pattern should really go to your emphasis. So I don't wanna do anything too abstract in the front because really the emphasis is the beautiful upside down braid. Now, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna come back and I'm going to brush my little comb, and I'm gonna comb this to the back, and I'm gonna pop it down the middle here, and I'm gonna bring it to one side here, just like that, and I'm going to comb that all in and bring it underneath. And if you notice, you see, as I start to bring that underneath like that, I'm gonna bring it right under here. And then as I start to do that, I'm gonna take my little, my little bobby pin here that I have in my hand, and I'm going to come through, and I'm going to use, again, I'm gonna use that ponytail to bring that in just like that. Now, as you start to see, let's give you a little half peek of what this starts to look like as we start to move it down. See that? I'm gonna have that really cool abstract kind of looking. And now we're gonna actually fit this all in. Once it's all done, we're gonna bobby pin all of that and fit it in. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing to this side right here. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna brush. And as we see, we're gonna kind of brush back and then I'm gonna let it fall in its own little way there. As I start to move back, come through here, and I'm going to make this side come through here, like that. So you're starting to see now, we're gonna get that really smooth, cool, sleek, but yet it has texture. So sleek with texture is super cool, especially for the runway. I'm gonna come through here right now. I'm gonna get my little clip into here, and I'm gonna clip right into the ponytail so that that really holds really nicely inside of there. Make sure that pattern is really going right to where I want my emphasis to be of the whole look. So here I am, I'm coming through here, open that up, and here we are. Now, as I start to look, right, I'm gonna have this really little part coming down here like that. 
and now watch. I'm gonna keep it super abstract. So when I say abstract, I mean that I'm gonna bring it in and then I'm gonna pin and I'm gonna make it look a little bit more on the swirlier side, right? So it doesn't look so straight, right? I wanted to, I really, really wanted to have a really cool open look where you're not just focused on it, just one little straight line of a texture running down. I'm gonna kind of open that up. So you see what happens as I start to open that up? Drop right into through there and watch see that. How cool is that to come right down? And I wanna make sure that I'm pinning this in here and now I'm gonna to start to connect my sides down with a few pins inside. And super important, when I'm doing runway hair, I always wanna make sure that what I'm doing is gonna stay. A lot of models get dressed, two dresses or three dresses, they're taking their hair off, taking it, you know, putting their head, you know, dresses over their hair, hair all of that. So I wanna make sure that I have a nice secure and I wanna make sure that I go around and I stand back and look at my work. It's super important that when you're working, don't get really all too much on top of your work, but you wanna stand more back. So now I'm gonna use my zero gravity hairspray. I'm gonna open that up and now watch. I'm gonna to start to pull a few little pieces out just to give it that little bit more of that abstract kind of feel to the look as I start to comb all of that hair going through. And I'm actually going to Leave that hair coming down right there. So it's like, so people don't really even know what's happening. You're like, wow, where is that coming from? What's happening? And that's kind of what's gonna give it that aha kind of look. Like, wow, that is super cool. Where is the hair coming from? Because you try to do things that people just can't figure out like that, hairdressers, right? So I'm gonna come through here, I'm doing the same thing. I'm opening that up, have that there. Make sure that that really comes out like that, really nice. And now, as you look from the side, a little bit more zero gravity hairspray. And now I'm gonna to start to work on the front, getting all of these little pieces throughout the front of the hair. On, open that up, and I'm gonna do a really cool one of my little signature secrets is I'm gonna come through here. Now watch, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna put the comb in, and I'm gonna weave the comb all the way through the hair. And then when I lift, you see this? I'm gonna lift like that so that I get that really cool texture. See what happens there with that texture like that? See the difference from that side? You get this really cool, so it's not really big hair, but it's more texture, right? So I'm gonna come through here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that same weave right in here, all the way through, all the way through, and now watch. I'm gonna lift that up a little bit and I'm gonna get that volume inside of the crown there. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna lift little pieces of the hair running through so that I get this really cool texture on the look. Now, Here's what I'm gonna do. Once I got the hairspray in my hands, I'm gonna kind of mess that up a little bit. Bring that all down into the back of the hair. And I'm gonna show you when I look at it, it's gonna be directed into there and you'll have your nice little long pony that's gonna stick out from there. And I'm gonna open that up. And the detail of looks like this are the most important part of doing the look. Because the runway, it's all really about the detail. What people can see from a distance, how you're going to create your texture. Now for me, especially on the runway, I do like a really messed up textured kind of feel. So there you go. You're gonna have, we're gonna have this really cool look right there. Coming down, now you see these little hairs here that I missed. I'm gonna take those little hairs, so don't even worry about that, especially on a textured look like this. All you really have to do is just come in. I find my little piece right in here. And all I'm gonna do is just take a pin and pin that right in to my ponytail, so it almost works like a, a little holder right there. 
So here you go. Beautiful runway kind of feel and look. Right there. There you go. I have a little light coming in from my window right now. So let me just move that out of the way so I can kind of show you. And then that's... Look, okay, so my second look that I'm going to show you is, did you ever um, do a ponytail? You don't really have enough hair in the ponytail, and you need to expand it a little bit more, and you want to get a fuller look for your ponytail. The best way to do that is to do that crimping technique that I showed you. So I'm going to use the GHD crimping iron, and I did that same effect on this. So I'm going to show you from here, you see that? You're going to have all that little texture inside of there. You've got a lot of texture running inside, all underneath. I did all that texture, especially up in this front area inside of here. Okay, now, after that, I came into my ponytail and I came into my ponytail, and then after that, I took it and I used my GHD Curve. After bringing it into my ponytail, and after doing my weave with the crimping iron, I came in and I set it, and now watch what I'm going to do. I'm gonna take that set, and take all my little pins out here, and another little pin inside of here. And now you can see clearly, right? You see some of that crimping inside of there, right? But I'm gonna show you what the crimping effect is really going to do. What the crimping effect really does is it's gonna give me this really cool, voluminous ponytail. So that, I'm just going to move this back here for you guys a little bit. I don't know if that's gonna help, but I move here a little bit more away from there. I'm going to show you. So now watch. You see all that crimping that's going on inside of there, right? So now watch what I do. I'm going to hold that up and I'm going to brush. And I'm going to really brush it really good as I start to move on. And I really want to get this really cool texture inside of there. So I'm going to move it up and I'm going to just kind of back comb all of that hair down into there. And I'm going to back comb a little bit into here. But you see how much the hair will expand in the ponytail as we move. Look, all of that crimping inside of there can really, really, really help with that. Now, as I start to move this in, I can start to move it up a little bit and get that really voluminous ponytail there. And then another great thing that we can do is, what I love is that I take my bobby pin on that bottom there and I push it in to there so that I can really not have an opening inside of here, right? I'm gonna take that hair here, I'm gonna do the same thing that I just did on that side and bring it right into my ponytail. There we go. Now I'm gonna open this up a little bit like that. And I'm gonna create this really cool elongated ponytail, just opening that up and creating a really cool runway look. Now, do you remember what we talked about in the front? I want to do this, to, I want to show it really close up to you. Do you remember what I showed you in the front here? I'm going to come through here. Another little hair there that I just want to pin in. And now watch. As I start to come through, watch what I do. I'm gonna start right from here. I'm gonna put my comb in there. And now watch, see I have all that? I'm gonna just kind of lift this up a little bit to get that texture running in there, you see that? And a lot of times, right? You're gonna notice when you get out in the field, clients really don't want very slick back looks. They want that little texture inside of there, and using that 
GHD crimping iron and this weaving effect really, really helps to get that hair to really move out and give you that really cool texture right inside of there. Here we go. Bring this out, up a little bit like that. You got little bits of texture running through there. And then here are two really cool techniques. Now listen guys, you can um, follow me on Anthony Cole Sebastian on Instagram. I'll follow you back. Um, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me on what we did today. But for the most part, I look so forward to being able to be face to face with you guys and show you tricks of the trade that you can bring into the field and you can make them better and grow them bigger and bigger because that's what happens. But I do want to say again, congratulations. I want to thank you so much for the time that you've given me to display these things for you. And I'm super excited. So I'm just going to give a little quick cap on what we did today. So we started with doing a upside down fishtail braid. We did this whole technique where we started to move all of this texture out and you get this cool abstract feel. This can also be tucked away if you wanted and you wanted it to be more sleek. But for me, this was all about really cool matted texture inside of here that is going to be really messy and really look very fall like right so winter fall this would be great for and then here we have that voluminous ponytail so if we can see it from a distance right you picture that walking the runway you're gonna have that really cool lot of hair there and you can get all that with doing that weaving technique using the GHD crimper. Okay, again, thanks guys, and I look forward to seeing you. Peace out.